So the last type of transformation, and arguably the most interesting one, or type, are rotations. And uh, so, so the first thing I'm going to do is I'm just going to write down point A in matrix form. And I'm going to multiply it by this matrix here. Zero, negative one, one, zero. Now you may think this looks like the one we did two videos ago, which had, which reflected our points across the x-axis, but this is actually different. The zeros are in the are switched um, in different locations, and um, where, where the ones are, there there are zeros, and vice versa. So this is actually different. Now, when you multiply this out, you get three times zero plus one times one is one and you get three times negative one plus one times zero which is negative three so I, I'm, I'm omitting the details because at this point I think you can do that on your own so there's point A so we'll call this you know A prime and now let's look at B three four This is A, and then we get A prime. This is B. And when we multiply it by this special matrix here, we get um, 3 times 0 plus 4 times 1 is 4. 3 times negative 1 plus 4 times 0 is negative 3. And finally, let's do C and C prime. So C is 8, 1. And we multiply this out. We get 8 times 0 plus 1 times 1 is 1. 8 times negative 1 is negative 8 plus 1 times 0. We get that. So there's C prime. All right, so let's plot those points and see what it did. Let's see what the matrix did here. So A prime is now 1, negative 3. So that's A prime. And B prime is 4, negative 3. And C prime is 1, negative 8. So what just happened? Well, let's draw in the let's draw in the triangle and I think it'll be more clear. Something happened, right? It took it took that triangle, our original triangle, ABC, and it moved it. Right, because we have, I mean, the, these triangles are identical, they're congruent, but the A prime, B prime, C prime one is in a different location. And how does it relate to the original? Well, I'm not sure if you can tell, but it's rotated 90 degrees of, about the origin. So how, what do you mean by 90 degrees? Well, I mean, I mean, imagine you're at the origin and you have a rope attached to A. You have a rope attached to A. And if you rotate it clockwise 90 degrees, you'll get A prime. So it just rotated point A 90 degrees. And and likewise likewise with point B. I could do this with point B too. It's gonna clutter my picture up here a little bit, but if I do it with point B, let's use green, I guess. Uh, right? If I just imagine like I have a rope on B and I swing it 90 degrees clockwise, there we have it. It rotated at 90 degrees. And by the way, how do I know they're 90 degrees? Well, because, or how do I know it, it is 90 degrees? Because the slope of, the slope of the line from the origin to B is 4 thirds, right? The slope of that is 4 thirds, 
and the slope from 0 to b prime is negative 3 fourths, which is opposite reciprocal. Uh, those are opposite reciprocal slopes. So it rotated at 90 degrees. So this matrix, so let's write that down. This matrix here, rotated this Those look too much like sixes. Rotates points 90 degrees clockwise. Now that seems kind of random, right? Why does that do that? Why does that particular matrix do that? Well, it may not look so it may not be so random if you note that. If you note that, 0, negative 1, 1, 0 is equal to, and I'll entry by entry, that top left 0 is the cosine of 90 degrees. That top right is negative sine 90 degrees. The bottom left is sine of 90 degrees and the bottom right is cosine of 90 degrees that is actually uh, the matrix the form of the matrix that rotates and so in general we'll just leave with the sort of the punchline here in general to rotate coordinates an angle theta clockwise about the origin you multiply by multiply the points by this special matrix cosine of theta negative sine of theta not 90 negative sine of theta sine of theta and cosine of theta. That is the special matrix that m rotates all your points whatever angle you choose. So if you want to rotate 20 degrees you multiply your points by the matrix where all the thetas are 20s. And so that is the last transformation type we're going to look at. We did reflections, we did glides and rotations and um, those are the three big ones. This one I think is arguably the most interesting uh, this idea of rotating points I think is is uh, pretty interesting but um, so anyway that's that ends our discussion on sort of geometric applications of of matrices